Hi everyone. So today you're going to be working through um, H3-1. I'm going to do the first example with you. And then for homework, I'm going to ask you to complete these eight questions that are in the yellow box here. All right, so let's take a look at the first example. Um, the question is asking you to graph x plus 3 uh, multiplied by x plus 5. So this is going to be a quadratic. The first thing you need to do is graph the x-intercept. So in a previous lesson, you've seen that uh, if the equation is factored, you can take each part um, in those brackets, make it equal to 0, and solve for x. Um, so if you do that on this question here, um, you will see that your x-intercepts are going to be just going to move this over. Give me a second. Um, your x-intercepts are going to be negative 3, comma, 0, and negative 5, comma, 0. So let's put those onto our graph. And right here. <clears throat> All right. Um, so the, the next step is to find the vertex. So the vertex is always exactly in between the two x-intercepts. So on this question here, it's easy to see that the, the point exactly between negative 3 and negative 5 is negative 4. But sometimes these questions have decimals, and it's, it's hard to do uh, in your head. So I'm going to show you the process of how to find the, the x-coordinate of the vertex, which is the, the average, really, of negative 3 and negative 5. So I'm going to say x is equal to, and I'm going to add together negative 3 and negative 5, and then I'm going to divide by 2. That will give me the average of those two values. Negative 3 plus negative 5 is negative 8, divided by 2 is negative 4, just like we predicted. So we know the x-coordinate of the vertex is going to be negative 4. To find the y-coordinate of the vertex, we're simply going to take our negative 4 and plug it into the original equation. So it was negative 4 plus 3 and negative 4 plus 5. So negative 4 plus 3 is negative 1, and we're going to multiply that by uh, negative 4 plus 5, which is positive 1. So our answer is negative 1. So that is the y-coordinate of the vertex. Um, so we can plot that on our graph, which is located right here. Um, and that's really all we need. So we've got our, our two x-intercepts, we have our vertex, and now we can draw our parabola. So try to draw a nice smooth curve. And then don't forget to put arrows on either end. Um, once we um, get into finding the y-intercept, your quadratic will be a little bit more precise because we'll know how far up on the y-axis that has to go. Okay, so that's your example that I wanted to do with you. There are more examples on this page here. I'm not going to do them, but if you'd like to try them, I will um, post the solutions to those um, in Google Classroom. What I would like you to do is complete these eight questions here to show your understanding and submit those to me in Google Classroom. All right, have a fantastic day, and I will be on our Google Meet at 2 o'clock if you'd like some extra help. All right, have a great day.